This is Will from CleanAmmoCans.com and I'm going to explain the symbology, markings, numbers that are found on many of the ammo cans sold on our website. There are a wide variety of ammunition types used by the military. Military ammunition comes with different projectile styles to include ball, incendiary, frangible, armor piercing, and blank. There are also many different configurations depending on the weapon and application the ammunition is intended for. So say belt-fed machine gun ammunition comes on links with and without tracer rounds. Rifle ammunition comes on stripper clips and in bandoliers with and without tracer rounds. The symbols on the outside of the military ammo cans are what help the troops quickly identify the ammo contained inside each can and across language barriers and are actually standardized across all NATO forces. Without some sort of universal labeling system, it would be very difficult to quickly identify the specific ammunition type and configuration within each ammo can in the modern combined environment where NATO allies share the combat space, but not necessarily a common language. There are a lot of symbols, but we'll talk about the most common ones using some examples from the current lot of cans we have on hand. A circle with an interior cross means that the item is made to NATO standards and specifications. A solid circle indicates ball ammunition. An empty circle made with four dashed lines indicates blank ammunition. A horizontal rectangle represents tracer ammunition and the number denotes the interval of tracer rounds. A large horizontal rectangle with five triangles along the top like a picket fence indicates stripper clip ammo. The number to the right indicates how many rounds it contains. A large horizontal rectangle with a void triangle from its base represents a bandolier. The number to the right indicates how many rounds it holds. A horizontal straight line through two circles indicates linked ammunition. The alphanumeric code after it indicates the type of links used. M27 for 5.56, M13 for 7.62, and M9 for 50 cal. Ammunition lot numbers identify who made the ammunition, where, and when. The ammunition lot numbers are generally found underneath ammunition specifications on the bottom of the front of the can. The first few digits of the ammunition lot number are the manufacturer's code, then the year and month of manufacture. The letters A through M correspond with the months January through December and are followed by the lot or batch code. The ammo can itself has a lot number. The spec of can is commonly stamped along with the manufacturer code and the year of manufacture. The 50 cal size of ammo can is stamped M2A1 or M2A2. The 30 cal size of ammo can is stamped M19A1 and the Fat 50 ammo can for the 249 saw ammo are stamped PA108. The current manufactured stamp on the majority of military surplus ammo cans is S. CF. This concludes our brief walkthrough through NATO ammo can symbology, marking, and numbers that are found on current U.S. military issued ammo cans. Please visit cleanammocans.com to check out a variety of U.S. made military spec ammo cans and ammunition components. Cleanammocans.com is your one stop shop for premium military spec ammunition products.